What if you could have all the meat you wanted without killing any animals? It's been widely publicized that reducing our meat intake is healthier for us and the planet. Many companies are making plant-based replacements for hot dogs, hamburgers, fish, and even chicken. But the future of food is really about creating lab-grown meat. Mosa Meat was the first company to successfully grow the first lab-grown beef. This technology is a completely different way of creating meat. Creating meat through conventional livestock is becoming problematic in terms of greenhouse gas emission, in terms of animal welfare, in terms of food security. It's a very resource intense way of producing meat. Yet, we love the outcome. This lab-grown meat is known as clean meat or cultured meat, and it's produced by taking cells from the muscle of a cow, placing it in a bioreactor where it's fed and can grow, allowing it to grow into fibers, which are muscle tissue, which are then shaped into burgers. One sample from a cow can produce as much as 80 million strands, which can make 80,000 quarter pounds of beef. Fish have also been successfully grown in a lab. Finless Foods is protecting our oceans and creating an alternative to harvesting or farming fish. They do this by growing healthy marine animal cells on their own. Using cellular biology, Finless is producing nutritious, environmentally friendly versions of fish and seafood products. Why do we use this entire system to grow a little bit of meat? Why don't we just grow the meat directly the same way that it happens inside of an animal? Just Foods is also working on a prototype of clean meat. The biggest limiting step to making this kind of meat happen is what are the cells going to eat? And we have this big discovery platform where we screen through all these plants and find nutrients in the plants. We can use these nutrients to feed the cells. So how will consumers feel about eating lab-grown meat? We are biologically programmed not to eat things that we don't know. And cultured meat, like anything else that is new, people don't know it, and so they immediately get the reaction, oh, maybe, maybe not. I tried it and I liked it a lot, <laughs> of course. When they realize it's safe and when they develop gradually trust in this product, I'm sure they will eat it.